Hey everybody, it's Mark again. And if you're having trouble getting your clock to run, when you take the pendulum leader wire off and you stop it and you stop it and it can stop it and stop it and it continues running, but after you put the pendulum on and it stops, the issue is probably this piece right here. If it is spread too far out, you might have to spread it in a little bit. Uh, technically, you would need to replace this U and this piece. And they're only 50 cents a piece, I believe, on time savers. Because what happens is... After a while, they get uh, a groove, a small groove, indentation, whatever you want to call it. They get worn out. They get rubbed, uh, worn out. So technically, you would want to replace this U and this piece right here. But you can get by by changing uh, the shape of this piece right here. Um, but technically, you'd want to replace it. Um, but with shipping charges, uh, minimum shipping charges from Time Savers, unless you got an order that you need to replace, uh, I would just modify this piece versus ordering it. Um, but uh, next time you do an order, if you do this for a living, order some of these pieces. And that way... If you're having problems getting your clock to stay running, uh, you'd want to replace this U-shaped wire and this uh, silver piece right here. Um, because if your clock stops and yet you have it in beat, it's because of this. these two pieces are worn out. So you can get by by changing the shapes, by squeezing them in or squeezing them out. Um, but technically, um, you'd want to replace these two pieces. Um, this clock is in B. It is running. And like I said, when I put a clock in B, I put it on the wall. I hang it to where I get the pendulum leader wire uh, swinging back and forth like this, and I stop it. I put my finger uh, so it stops several times, and like there, I need to adjust it just a little bit because it's not quite in beat, and so. Uh, because it is touching the left side of this foot, I need to adjust it to where the foot goes to the left just a little bit. And uh, stand by, let me do that. I did that, and the way I did that is I put a finger up here, and I put a finger here, and I bent the metal with my thumb. And so now, this thing is ticking away, and so I can put the pendulum on, and it'll stay ticking away. But before, it would stop, and that's because this piece up here is getting worn out. The clock was made in 1971, 1972, I believe. And that's a lot of years for a clock to be uh, running. Uh, the clock was made in 1971. And that's a lot of years for a clock to stay running. Things are going to get worn out. And in this case, the U and the silver piece needs to be replaced but it can be modified to get it working again. I hope this video helps. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel because it's free to do so. And I sit here and I explain several things to people. And I get comments all the time about 
what do I do about this and how do I do this and thank you for making these videos because it helps me get my clock running and uh, if you're watching these YouTube channels it's because you don't want to pay somebody to repair your clocks or you can't afford to pay somebody to repair your clocks or you're a clock person like me and you want to learn how to fix your own clocks I've been collecting clocks since 1999 and there's only been just a three times I need to adjust it some more because it stopped and I adjusted it too much because now it's on the right side of the uh, wire it only takes my new adjustments so anyway I hope y'all enjoy this video uh, please hit the subscribe button and God bless each and every one of you